Okay, today I'll be explaining chapter 8, section 1, fluids and buoyant force. First of all, what we need to know, what is a fluid? A fluid is a non-solid state in which the atoms or molecules are free to move past each other, as in gas or liquid. Recall that matter has three states, solid, liquid, gaseous, which is gas. Now, the similarity between liquid and gas is that both of them flow and both of them take the shape of their container. This is an example of the liquid and here's an example of the gas. Now, what is the difference between those three states? First of all, solid has a definite shape and a definite volume. Liquid takes the shape of the container that doesn't, like, it doesn't have a sh different shape, but it takes the shape of the container and does have a definite volume. Now, the gas takes the shape of the container, meaning neither has a definite shape nor a definite volume. Density. Density, what is density? Density is a measure of quantity, a quantity in a given shape. In physics, density is written as rho or a curved P. And we don't say P, but we just say rho. Most importantly, we should say rho. The formula is rho equals to mass over volume, or you could change the formula by mass equals to rho times the volume. And the unit for the rho is kilogram per meters cube. Mass density is the concentration of matter of an object. What is buoyant force? Buoyant force is the upward force exerted by liquid on an object, immersed, submerged, or floating on the liquid. So we could say either like um, uh, for the immersed, we could say immersed or submerged, and the other situation is floating. Now here we have an object hanging in the air has a weight of 100 newtons. This is called F real or real weight. So meaning Fg equals to mass of the object times the G equals to rho of the object times volume of the object times G. Remember that mass could be uh, mass equals to rho of the object times volume of the object times the G. That, uh, with the Fg, so it's times G. Now, in the second situation, if we place the object in a container of water, filled with water, the force will decrease. From here, here it was 100 newtons, now it decreased to 80 newtons. This is called F apparent, which is the weight of the object in the fluid. Now, how could we find Fb? We're going to subtract the real weight from the apparent force, or the apparent weight. So, Fg real minus F apparent. Now, we have two situations. Floating, which is the object is balanced, and the other situation is submerged or immersed. Now, in the first situation, floating, uh, the object will have the, uh, the buoyant force and the Fg. They will be equal to each other, so Fb equals to Fg. The other situation, when the boat or ship is synced and it's like below the water, for example, like a Titanic, the Fb will be less than the Fg. The Fg will be more, so Fg is more than the Fb. That's because the object is now more down, like it's down, so the Fg will increase and the Fb will decrease. But in the first situation here, it equals to each other because it's floating. Now, Archimedes' principle. It states that, now in the book it says something different, it's the same thing, but here it's just a shortcut or a small way to understand and memorize. This is how uh, Mr. Shadi uh, our physics teacher wrote it for us in the book. Uh, first of all, here it says that what uh, he wrote for us, the teacher. Uh, it states that the buoyant force acting on ob acting on objects on fluids is equal to the weight of the displaced fluids. In the book, it says here, an object completely or partially submerged in a fluid experiences an upward buoyant force equal in magnitude to the weight of the fluid displaced by the object. Now, the simpler uh, shortcut is that we could just say that it states, the Archimedes principle states that the buoyant force acting on objects on fluids is equal to the weight of the displaced fluids, or we could just say simply, as in a formula, Fb equals to Fg of the fluid. Fg of the fluid. So, as you can see here, uh, they didn't place the object yet, so there's nothing happening yet. Now, here they place the object, so there's water. Now, they put the object completely in the water, so this means that the water increased. So, the, yeah, it's like overfloating, for example. So, remember Fb equals to Fg of the fluid. Now, we have the convergence. We're going to start first for the first situation, which is floating. Uh, first of all, we start with Fb equals to Fg as in 
be floating situation fb equals to fg now we're going to replace remember that in the archimedes principle here it says that fb equals to fg of the fluid so replace the fb with fg of the fluid equals to fg now this side or the fg this fg is for the object this side or, or this fg is, is for the fluid so you could just like make it simpler and write here for the fluid and here we write for the object so here we'll just make the sign like uh, an O and here it will be an F. So FG, remember it's M times G, here M times G. But M what? M of the fluid and here M of the object or mass of the object and mass of the fluid. And then we're going to break up the M. The M is, remember that M could be equals to the rho times the volume. So here it will be rho of the fluid times uh, volume of the fluid times g here it will be rho of the object times volume of the object times g we're going to cross out the g's we're going to cross out the v, uh, no sorry we're not going to cross out the v we're just going to cross out the g now this will go here sorry i mean this will go here and this will go here so it will be rho of the object over row of the fluid equals to volume of the fluid over volume of the object. So this is the formula for the floating objects on the surface of, an, of a liquid. Now in the second situation, the submerged, we're going to start with as in here. Remember that FB or the FN is less than the FG. But we're going to uh, write something else. We're going to write FG equals to MG. But here the FG is for the object. So mass of the object. Then we're going to break it apart. FG equals to rho of the object times volume of the object times G. Then remember that FB equals to M of the fluid. As in here, remember? Here. So, fluid times G. Then we're going to break this apart too. So it's going to be rho of the fluid times V of the fluid times G. As you can see here for the fluid, FG of the fluid, the same thing they mean. Okay, now. Um, then, then simply it will be FG over the FB then row of the object over row of the fluid so this is the formula for okay, right then equals to FG same thing it's better to try it like that starting with the row it's better to start with the row so this is the formula for um, the submerged objects or the sinking objects or synced objects uh, objects and that's how we find so either two of them uh, either um, we have to find one of them and the rest are given you can simply know them now let's do some practices now um, before we start anything uh, they will give you for example the dens the densities you should know like for example let's say only three of them or two of them we, it's better to know first of all you mostly have to know the fresh water or water which is simply easy uh, 1 or 1 1.00 times 10 to the power 3 which is uh, the unit is kilogram per meters cube in the book they, they write row as this but it's better to write it like that uh, easier also and then uh, you could know this but it's not really important but the most important to know is the fresh water and maybe sometimes in questions they will give you the densities as given now let's start with this okay so let's read the question now number one a piece of metal weighs 50 newtons in air 36 newtons in water and 41 newtons in an unknown liquid find the densities of the following we have to know the density of metal and the unknown liquid first of all the density of the metal now what do we start with? first of all let's start out with the givens okay so before that here uh, they were like in the water so this means that this is the fg real 
Yeah, this is the abdural because they're like in air. Remember, we go back here. Yeah. So when it's hanged in the air, it's the real uh, the real weight, and when it's in the water, this is called F apparent. So here they're saying in the water, so this is F apparent. And here it's also in an unknown liquid, so it's in a fluid. It's also the F apparent. We're going to use this in B. But now, for now, we're going to use this for A. And the FG will also use it in the B. Now, first of all, we'll start with A. The given says, first of all, FG equals to 50 newtons. F apparent equals to 36 newtons. Then, um... Okay, let me start all over again. To make it clear, okay, givens Fg, which is 50 newtons, F apparent, which is 36 newtons, and they were like in water, so we know that water here, the density of water is rho of the water or fluid equals to 1.00 times 10 to the power of 3 kilogram per meters cube. Now, those are the givens. Now, um, let's move on. Okay. So let's start the formula. Remember here they're like in water, so this means it is submerged. So we're going to use this formula. So we have to know the rho of the object because they're like metal the, ob the object is metal and they're like density which is rho so we need to find this this is unknown over here now let's place the information for let's um write the information first of all oh, perfect. okay so rho equals to g over fb and before that, we need to find the FB. We need to find the FB. Now remember that FB is the FG real minus the F apparent. So uh, it's going to be FB equals to 50 minus 36. The answer will be 14 newtons. So now we have the FB. Now let's go to the formula P of object over P of fluid. I'm sorry, row of object uh, over the row of the fluid equals to F G over FB. So first of all, we don't know row of the object. We know row of the fluid, which is 1.00 times 10 to the power of 3 equals to FG, which is 50 over the FB, which is 14. So we're going to crisscross and we're going to, uh, we're going to, cross multiply sorry and we're going to find out the raw of the object equals to 3.57 times 10 to the power of 3 kilograms per meters cube so this is the answer for a 1a now for b now for b remember that we have uh, it's 41 newtons because they're like an unknown liquid this is the unknown liquid so we know that the first and we're going to use the fg which is 50 newtons and the F apparent is 41 newtons. Now we're going to subtract this by this to find what? To find the FB. So FG minus the F apparent, which is 50 minus 41, which equals to 9 newtons. So now we know the FB of this. Now we're going to use the same formula, but here we're going to use the, the, row, uh, the row of the object from here. So it's going to be, uh, we're going to substitute 3.57 times 10 to the power of 3 over. Um, the here we have to know the row of the fluid, so we're going to keep it unknown. Equals to the FG. We know it, it's 50 over the FB, which is 9. We cross multiply. We're going to find that the row of the fluid or the row of the unknown fluid is 6.4 times 10 to the power of 2 kilogram per meters cube. And don't forget the unit. This is the unit. Okay. Okay, now, moving on to the second question. Um, a 2.8 kilogram rectangular air mattress is 2.0 long, 0 0.5 uh, meters wide, and one, 0 0.1 thick. What mass can it support in water before sink sinking? Let's find out the givens. First of all, the givens, uh, givens is the mass, which is 2.8 kilograms. Then, this would be the length, because they're like long length, so it's two meters then wide which is the width so 0 0.5 meters and then 
we have the um, thick, which is, yeah, okay, so, 0 0.100. So, remember that FG, uh, now we're going to start solving FB equals to FG. So, rho of the fluid times volume of the fluid equals to FG. So, mass equals to, here we need to find the mass equals to rho of the fluid times these three. So, it's going to be 2 times 0 0.100 times 0 0.100. 100 minus the mass, which is 2.8. Here we have two masses. So minus the 2.8. Now, we're going to find out, and the row of the fluid is what? Which is the water. They're like water. So we're going to place this by one uh, mass equals to 1.00 times 10 to the power of 3 times the 2, 2 times... minus the 2.8. We're going to find out the mass would be 97 kilograms after the calculation. So, that's all for this lesson. Simple and really easy. Hope you understand and enjoyed. Thank you.